polyps are growths from the diff which arises from the lining of different organs like bowels, nose. It can also arise from the lining of the uterus, cervix and vagina. Uterine polyps are usually benign and they are quite common. One in ten in general population will have polyps. Majority of the polyps do not cause any symptoms. They are usually asymptomatic and they are diagnosed during routine ultrasound scans. Sometimes they can cause bleeding in between periods, which is more commonly seen in women who are premenopausal. This is actually quite controversial. Many women with polyps do conceive naturally and have a successful pregnancy. However, women who are struggling to conceive they do get more ultrasound scans and have more diagnosis of polyps. Yes, polyps can cause problems in getting pregnant. It could be by its location. For example, if a polyp is located near the opening of the tube, it can cause tubal blockage and delay in conception. Whereas a polyp which is located in the lower part of the uterus or in the cervix or vagina are very unlikely to cause any problems in conceiving. Polyps can also call, produce various chemicals that can stop implantation or development of the early part of the, of the pregnancy and cause early miscarriage. Majority of the polyps are diagnosed by transvaginal ultrasound scan. 3D ultrasound scan along with saline infusion sonography and hysteroscopy are very accurate in diagnosing polyps. Hysteroscopy is considered gold standard as it can not only diagnose but at the same sitting polyps can be treated. Small polyps which are not causing any symptoms, they don't always need removal because most of the polyps, about one in four, will disappear on its own as they are shed during the bleeding during periods. However, if they are big, if they're giving you any symptoms like irregular periods, bleeding in between periods, or they're calling, causing delay in conception, then yes, it needs to be removed. If you are having unexplained infertility, then yes, it needs to be removed. There has been studies that shows that it does improve the chances of getting pregnant if polyps are removed and if you are having unexplained infertility. And also, if you're having IUI or IVF, most clinicians will advise removal of polyp if they are diagnosed before starting IVF. If they are diagnosed during IVF, then most clinicians will suggest freezing the embryos and transfer it later after removal of polyp. If polyps are diagnosed in menopausal women, they surely need to be removed as there is a small risk of cancer. Polyps can be removed with hysteroscopic surgery with or without general anesthetic depending on the size and position of the polyps. Because it is a day case procedure and most of the time you will be able to go home on the same day. Complications are really rare but there can be infection, bleeding, very very small chance of injury to the wall of the uterus like perforation, recurrence of the polyp against less than 5% and complications due to absorption of fluid or gas which is used to distend the uterus during the surgery. So, to summarize, polyps are benign growths of the lining of the uterus which are usually small and do not need removal. Majority of the women with polyp will conceive naturally. However, if you're having unexplained infertility or abnormal bleeding in between your periods or if you're having IUI or IVF, then polyp removal might be beneficial. Polyp removal is done by hysteroscopic surgery with or without GA.